guys, my name is Taylor and I'm from NetBeansTutorials.com and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to do nested if statements and switch cases as, re as well as uh, regular if statements. And rather than describing what all that nonsense means, I'm just going to really dive into it because uh, it can be a bit overwhelming. Okay, you know that an if statement, or I hope you know anyway, um, it runs on parameters, and if their parameters are found to be true, then it'll run its first counterpart. If not, then it'll run it will run its else. So, if true, then it'll run code A. If it's not, it will run code B in the else, which is contained here. If it's if the parameters are found to be true, it runs A. If not, it runs its else. Very simple, but I'm going to go ahead and give you some context to make sure that you really understand it. Um, let's do um, my age. If um, if the int my age equals 21, then run system.out.print your age is 21. If it's not, then I'll write system.out.print your age is not 21. Fantastic. That is a normal if statement. So at this point, if I were to run this code, it would print your age is 21 because it is indeed 21. However, if I were to change the int to 20, then it would actually choose the else code, which is its counterpart. Now I did mention earlier that we were going to learn nested if statements, and what that basically means is you're going to have, instead of just one if statement, you're going to have an if statement contained within your if statement. So, um, let's say that it was that, okay, so my age is 20. Else if, that's a nested if, right there. If my age equals 19, then run your age is 19. And then over here, we're going to do another else that's tied to this if, and then give it another if as well. If my age equals 18, then we're going to have it print, your age is 18. And we can go down the line and have as many if statements as necessary until it runs into the correct parameter. And here's the correct parameter. Your age is 20. Else, then we're just going to have it give up. I give up. You don't have an age. Now what we've done here is we've created three nested if statements within our first. See how that works? It goes from your first if statement, runs this line, if this parameter is true, if not, then it runs this statement contained by the first else, and then it'll print 19 if my age is equal to 19. If not, it'll run to its else, and if the parameter for 18 is true, then it'll print that your age is 18. If not, it runs to the else over here, and if it's 20, it'll print 20. And then it finally gives up right here. Now, this was a bit complicated, but it becomes a lot easier. You can either achieve this style of coding through nested if statements or a switch case. And I'll show you how to do a switch case right here. Um, let's do switch. We're just going to declare a switch. We're going to call it age. Or actually, no, it's going to refer to my age. So we need to type my age. And then our first case, we're going to go ahead and recreate this nested if statement pattern we have up here. Uh, case 19 system.out.print your age is 19 and I did that totally wrong hilarious hilarity ensued simply rifting case 20 system.out.print your age is 20 
case 18. System out dot print your age is 18. Okay, see how that works? So this is a lot simpler and easier to understand than nested if statements, but at the same time, the concept really needs to be fundamental for you guys. It's uh, pretty rudimentary, um, and it's good to learn. You can either put ifs repeatedly inside your else statements to continue to create a sort of pattern so that you go down the line to either guess at a variable name or just set different conditions for different functions. It's... um. But yeah, you can do a lot more with a lot less with this style. But at the end, it pretty much achieves the same thing. This is the format for switches. A switch is basically an, uh, an if statement where it checks to see if the case matches the value, and if so, it runs. If not, run to the next case. If not, run to the next case same same thing here all right guys if you have any questions or comments please please leave them either here on youtube or at uh, a and i'll be sure to address them